Pyrokinesis. Let's see what I have now. I have Sarlacc, which is good, right of the Undervolt. Um, I don't need the Primus Fist or right of the Undervolt right now since um, I already have a near full hand. So let's replace those two. Primus Shield Master might be useful later on. So let's see what we get. Uh, we got the card drawer and a repulse RB. So I'm going to replace the blaze sound on my turn. Hopefully to get another two drop. Uh, he played Primus Fist first. Very strange. I'm going to move forward, replace this beast. Uh, Ritual Banishing. It's not a two drop, but it's something. I'll play Jaxi here and end my turn. And I get right of the Underbolt back. Whenever your general takes damage, this mini gets one attack. Well, oh, it had to spawn at that corner. Uh. Well, I'm gonna replace Right of the Undervolt to see what I get. I got Wraithling Swarm. Uh, that's range, so I think the best option for me is to do Wraithling Swarm. So I kind of like that. Um, still get two cores, but I can't cast anything, so I guess I'll end turn. I need to destroy that as soon as possible because that can get nasty really quick. That's a provoker. Uh, so I'm gonna get two to the face. Uh, so I'm going to replace Blaze Hound for sure. Um, six cores. That seems, uh, yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll cast Shadow Watcher on the Mana Spring. Uh, do Ritual Banishing to kill a Wraithling and the Ranged Creature because the Ranged Creature can just uh, be... Ranged Creatures are scary. Um, I'll attack this 2-1. And I'll attack the Provoker. And I got two repulsors. I don't know what he's gonna do. He has five cards in hand and five cores, so he can play things. He can also move things around and stuff like that. If he moves um, the Primus any closer or and doesn't ha have any other threats, I'm gonna just repulse right away. But let's see what he plays. Opening gamut: summon a random non-token friendly minion, and it's the range person, dude. I'm gonna take damage. 
Uh, what can I'm gonna replace a repulsor? See what I get. Gloom chaser. That seems fine. I'm, I'm gonna kill the ranged person. Uh, what can I repulsor? I can repulsor the three four. Uh, I have six cores I can use, so I'm gonna use. Three, two, actually no, I'm gonna cast uh, Sarlacc back here, maybe. And then Repulsor the Provoker all the way over there. And then I'll end turn. I don't know what he's gonna do. Uh, he's probably gonna attack me for sure. Let's see though. He has five five cards still, but six cores, so he has more options to play. Um, yeah, I really don't know. Uh, he's, yeah, he's probably gonna do that for some reason. Uh, so it's a 9-3. I don't think the Keeper of the Veil can move right there because then because these two are blocking the way. Uh, that's uh, one health left. So do I have lethal is the question and I do have lethal. Yeah, because uh, I have two from my general, two from Repulsar. Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh. So what can I do? I have seven cores. I'm gonna replace the Gloom Chaser to see if I get anything else. Nope, doesn't seem like it, so I'm gonna just do... I'll move back to cast the... Prismatic Illusionist there, and then I'll cast uh, my Provoker Dude there, and then I'll trade. Hopefully I get a better position. I have a little bit better position. I have a Repulsor Beast, so I have options. My health's going low though. So, um, the Keeper of the Veil can't kill the Provoker unless uh, the gen he buffs it somehow. Which I think he has 4 cards in hand and 7 cores, it's possible. And then he might just kill it with a combo of the Keeper and the, and the General. No, uh, no, he has a provoker of his own. Uh, three cards left with four cores. At the end of your turn, give each nearby friendly minion one attack. So, uh, I'm gonna cast Rite of the Undervolt, because it's a spell and I can see- I can draw things. Uh, 
what can I do? I have three co three cores left. Uh, what can I do? I'm gonna cast Demonic Blur and move it all the way over there for sure. Uh, just because I don't have to deal with a Provoke. Um... I'm gonna kill the 6-2 because I don't want to deal with that later on. Then I'll cast my Bloodborne spell. And then I'll move up here. Uh, what else can I do? I don't think I can do anything else, so I'm just gonna turn. And I don't think he has a way to get to me unless he attacks with the general and then moves the arc light in front. But even then, that's like a risky move. Um, I'm I'm sure I have lethal next turn. Uh, let's see, two, three, four, five, six, plus five. That is eleven damage. Um, on the Assuming everything I have stays on the board. Now I'm gonna get hit for a three. No. Yeah, you went for the illusionist. Uh. So do I still have enough? Summon a random non-token friendly minion. Um, that is a Primus Fist. That is a Primus Fist. I'm gonna restore 2 health, so I need to do... 13 damage. Do I have enough? That's, uh, if I do this, it's... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12. Oh, now I need to do 12 damage. Um, let's see, I have 2 damage right there. 3, 4, 5, 6. I have enough to kill him. Uh, even, I could just use Primus Fist, but I have enough to kill him. Um, so the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to do Void Pulse to do damage and heal myself. So I need, I need to do 10 damage. Um, I'm going to attack with the Wraithling for 1. Move my Prismatic Illusionist up there so that's an attack with him for 2. Uh, so he has 4. 7 health right now, move forward. I'm gonna attack him. Then I'm gonna pump up my Sarlacc with stuff. And attack him. 